Hello, my name is Isabella Tamayo, and I am from class 71. This is my science fair project. It is on um, what is the effect of water, milk, and coke on your blood. Now, what I thought was going to have the most energizing effect on your blood was going to be coke. Coca-Cola has a lot of sugar in it, which when broken down is proven to give you energy, and also contains caffeine, which is proven to keep you alert and awake. So in this project, my variables would have been the three drinks that I um, will be training through, which would be the water, milk, and coke. And the dependent variable would be the effects it has on the blood. I have a couple of control variables, but just to name a few, I would have the same um, time of day because your blood is different throughout the times of day. Um, I chose 6 through 10 um, p.m. Um, the test subjects were me and my sister, uh, and also the age limit, which would be around the teens area. Now, in my project, I set up my microscope, then me and my sister would fast two hours, which is a real pain, and after the two hours was up, we would um, drink the liquid for that day, um, let's say it would be milk, and after drinking, let's say the milk, we would wait 15 minutes for it to reach the bloodstream. And after it reached the bloodstream, I would take a lantern device with a needle already in it, um, the caps on it for now, um, and I would perk the finger after sanitizing it with an alcohol prep pad. Now, after I perk it, I, I bring a microscope slide, put the blood drop on the slide, covered it with the cover glass. Once the cover glass is on, it is automatically sealed. It's not coming off. And nothing, no blood will be exposed. After getting the slide, you put it under the microscope and I took pictures and videos. These videos and pictures came in handy when writing my notes in my observation book. And when I wrote my notes, I wrote it from like four different aspects. I wrote um, the size. I took when I took pictures, I measured three different um, red blood cells um, with a ruler in millimeters, and I put it down um, cell A, cell B, cell C. And after I took the size, I did solution. The solution could either be isotonic, hypertonic, or hypotonic. In this project, though, there's only isotonic and hypertonic. Isotonic is what we're always hoping for. Now, just to clarify what a picture of each would be, this would be isotonic, this would be hypertonic, also hypertonic, and that's my sister when she was sick. It has few spots. Now, I would also do it in independency, and um, after independency, I would do speed, and um, those would be my four aspects. Once I gathered all my information from 10 trials with each three drinks, I would um, gather up all my data and create my graphs. After creating my graphs and charts, I, I found out that milk came in first in all four categories. Um, it, water came in second with size, independency, and speed, and came in third with solution. And Coca-Cola came in third with size, independency, and speed, and came in second with solution. Now, my hypothesis was refuted, and remember, I thought that Coke was going to win because of its sugar. The thing is that when I observed the Coca-Cola on the blood, it would give a quick boost of energy, and then everything would die down. After and the milk gave it a long-lasting energy. So I did more research on it, and it, I found out why milk won. And it was because of one, because of its vitamins and minerals, and there's one mineral that milk has a lot of. It's called calcium. Calcium controls blood dilution. And what happens is, is that it pretty much opens and closes the blood vessels to each part of your body. So it'll open it to parts of your body that need it more and close it off to parts of your body that don't need it as much. So as the rankings go on, I would rank them 
Coca-Cola came in third, second place came water, and first place came milk. Thank you.